Thank you for joining us today. This is part three of our four-part mini-series on Azure Governance. Each part is intended to be a very high-level overview of the information presented during a day-long event. At the end of the mini-series, you'll have an opportunity to register for a local Azure Governance event. Why Governance? If you take the pressure to digitally transform your organization and combine that with maintaining agility while increasing speed to market and shifting to DevOps, you're faced with increased complexities around managing accountability, compliance, consistent architecture, and costs. A solid governance framework simplifies those complexities. Part 3, Azure Blueprints. During engagements with our customers, we encounter three common challenges. Creating and redeploying infrastructure in a repeatable manner, creating governed subscriptions, and protecting foundational resources. Through an Azure Blueprint solution, you can compose, deploy and update cloud environments in a repeatable manner, orchestrate the deployment of resource templates and policies, protect your environment by locking down the foundational infrastructure, and empower your teams to use Azure in a self-service manner while maintaining organizational standards. So how do blueprints work? In this example, the cloud engineer creates a blueprint, adds the resources to be used, identifies artifacts to be instantiated through sequence deployments, and applies the blueprint to scope. Compose, manage, scale an automated, easy-to-deploy solution to help govern your organization's subscriptions so the infrastructure you build is maintained as you designed it. This concludes this preview of Azure Blueprints. I hope you'll join us for Part 4, Resource Graph and Cost Management.